guys, how's it going? I think we're just free vlogging this week. Uh, sorry we didn't really set that up in advance. Things are so busy all the time. So, here we go. I feel like even though it's been six weeks now, I think, since we started the annual holes, that, you know, I've been getting to know a lot about you guys. Um, and it's been awesome. I still, like, don't know the essence of you. It sounds a little creepy. I mean, I know we're supposed to be talking about ourselves, but for all of my videos, I've just been like, here's stuff about me, and hope you guys are doing well. That's not how it really is, and that's not, <laughs> I obviously care more than that. This week, I'm going to take the opportunity and talk to my no holders, y'all. So let's start with Manda. So I think I saw that on your Twitter that um, your financial aid finally came through. Woo! That's awesome. I remember waiting for that, and it was awful. I was glad to hear that. And referring to the comment that you made on my video last week, the insolent <laughs> comment that actually did make me laugh out loud. Did some lolling on that one. Those effing shoes. Gosh. Oh, they made me embarrassed. I thought that the video you posted last week for Esther was really sweet and kind. I still think about her at least a little bit every day. I mean, the mysteries of life, you know? When I think about Esther, sometimes I'm just really sad that someone so amazing just isn't here physically with us anymore. And then sometimes I'm just really thankful that she made it for as long as she did, and obviously she had a fantastic family and was a blessed individual in, in many ways. I can learn from her and not forget her, so. Rest in awesome, Esther. So let's go to Ashley now. We missed you last week. I feel like all of us are talking about school and, you know, going back to school and campuses and things like that. You know, I hope you're not feeling too left out. And I don't think you've told us um, what you do for work. So I would like to know that if you care to share. You can also make up something and I would be glad to hear that as well. But yeah, where do you Maybe not where you work, but what do you do for work? Is it busy? Do you like it? Can you see yourself staying there or what's up? Just what's up? And John, hello. I am sorry to hear about your really crappy week. It's such an awful way to start the first week of the semester because it's already like so stress inducing and horrible. Especially the getting up early when you don't have to, that's the worst thing ever. Blah. And then you asked in, I think, last week's video? Yeah. What I'm having my literature classes read. A whole lot of stuff is the answer. We've started with fiction. We're gonna spend, spend about three and a half weeks on fiction and a few weeks on drama. And then we'll go on to nonfiction. And then ending with poetry. I have them reading a lot because because I have high standards for my students. I try to be one of those teachers who pushes you to do more work than you would like to, but not for arbitrary reasons. So far, let's see, what have we read? What have we read? Virginia Woolf, we got some T.C. Boyle, we've got some Kate Chopin, Amy Tan, Poe, of course, how can you have a literature course without Poe? Raymond Carver, and I'm such a sucker for Raymond Carver. And James Baldwin, love him. Catherine Mansfield, John Updike, Eudora Welty, Catherine Ann Porter, Naguib Mahfouz, a ton, a ton of stuff. And then Muda, hello. Um, first of all, most importantly, Lip Twins. Right? That looked like your lamp, so I hope I'm not just saying lamp twins. Razily. Okay, I'm really glad to hear that you love your campus because I think that's really, really important. I felt the same way about my campus, which incidentally is where I'm still teaching because I think that makes learning and, you know, putting in all the work and stuff um, for what you're doing for your education a lot easier. Um, maybe not easier, but more enjoyable for sure. I think actually a campus tour or maybe a workplace tour for Ashley or something like that. Um, might be a good theme idea. Uh, and I'll see you guys this week.